Obviously, the Canelo and Caleb Plant, our thoughts. It's already out. If you know, if it's on YouTube, go Podomatic, Anchor, all that shit. It's all there. Our thoughts are there. But there's an actual card on Friday from Top Rank, you know. And this time, it's the it's the women that are actually going to be fighting. Um, one, Michaela Mayer, who will be defending her 130 title against another 130 champion, Neva Hamaguchi. Who was an actual puncher in her in her vision, like a serious one at that. You know, I and mean, I'm thinking that was like I think she's like 21 and one with 17 or 18 knockouts, something like that. Now, I mean, now I know P and LB are higher on Mayor than I am. Me, I, I most of my collections I just can't stand Mayor. <laughs> I can't stand her at all. You know, she's not my uh, you know my type of personality per se. Um, but you know, I but I, even I, I'm like you know what I was, I've never seen her in the ring with a puncher before, you know someone that was may actually trying to try to knock her block off, you know so it will be it will be you know it'll be interesting to see see what would happen. Um, I know LB like I mean I mean I mean I, I, LB do you have any thoughts on this particular fight, especially with Mayor in it? I think Mayor's gonna he's in there for a tough fight and I think she's ready. I know her, I think her last performance or the one before that wasn't all that entertaining. It wasn't all that great. It wasn't entertaining. It wasn't really entertaining. That's for damn sure. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, it wasn't all that entertaining. But I mean, we've seen worse fights, but you know, her fights are usually pretty decent and that was kind of like a blip. So I know she has that going for her. Mm. I want to see a good little fight. Uh, This is what, Friday night, right? Friday night on ESPN Plus. Like, yeah, ESPN Plus at eight o'clock. Yeah, cause she handles pretty much every style. It just we never really got no real, real puncher from, you know, facing off on her. So it'd be good, you know, be great for her experience and her progression as a boxer. So I'm, I'm here for it. Shit, her and her coach got great chemistry. And I know she trained hard. I see her on IG do all, do everything really. So. Yeah, right. this, this should be a good little Friday night fight. Uh, I hope they got a decent undercard with it. Uh, <laughs> top rank one of the skip weeks. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, I mean, personally, I am, I'm, I'm looking, I'm sort of looking for because, like, okay, can Mayor handle someone that might actually try to knock her block off in this particular fight, and who's an actual champion at that, you know? So it's, it's gonna be, it's, it, it, I mean, it should be a little. Oh, yeah, this is a unification, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's what's up, up like. Yeah, how much did she get? 22 and 1 with 18 knockouts. Okay, good. 18. So, and then. Well, women's boxing been stepping up this year. Yeah, now unfortunately, the co mains is not. I mean, the co main is what it is. It's not anything. First, it was, at first, it was Kazakhstan versus Indum, which I was just like, why? You know, but they moved that shit to the Porter Crawford pay per view, which was even more asinine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, Damn. what the fuck? You know, but uh, but instead we got uh, we we got a different fight. I mean, it's probably a better fight, but it's not like you know, it's not like someone someone that people I know. It'll be um, basically we got uh, one of top ranks prospects, Luis Melendez, sixteen and one with thirteen knockouts from Puerto Rico. And truthfully, Puerto Rico probably needs to turn a corner quickly, so he might, they might need to get him like you know. So it'll be good for him to actually you know try to win. Against Thomas Matisse, who's known for a majority decision loss to Isak Cruz um, last year. You know he's 17 to a 13 knockout. So this this could be a fight that might end that could easily end in a knockout. You know, but I could see. That, but you know, hopefully we don't see a Puerto Rican jinx going on with Top Rank <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the prospects. Uh, so and then after that on the undercard we have Joseph Adorno on there who might actually I mean you know dude is 14 and 0 with 12 knockouts I mean if you saw him earlier this year dude had a legit fight of the year against Jermaine Ortiz 
you know, a, a brutal one at that, and, and, that, and that, that ended up in a draw. And uh, he's facing, you know, he's facing Damian Araujo, who's 21 through eight KOs. Uh, you know, th- this might actually be an, uh, a little bit of an easy, you know, an easy night for him. But knowing Gordono and his lack of defense, he might end up getting into another war. So. You know, it's uh, you know, it, it has stuff. Um, it has, it, you know, this fight, this card has a little something. It might be a little appetizer, you know, before, you know, for before Canelo play, or you know, something might actually outside Canelo play, and it's not even on the Canelo plant card. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, no, it starts at eight o'clock on Friday night on ESPN Plus, people. So do not, you know, so don't miss it. You know, or if you just need some boxing action, you know, if you have a uh, a Jones or there's nothing good on Friday night to watch, you know. So uh, yeah, now you know now you know it will be it'll, and t- hopefully Topper can actually you know continue its little momentum with you know delivering on the cards. Uh, so I think that's about it regarding everything regarding.